A North Texas man is joining the Ukrainian refugee relief effort in Poland. He's not affiliated with any group or nonprofit organization. He says he just felt compelled to go to Europe and help. Fox Force Peyton Yeager has our story. I mean, it's winter, right? And it's highs of 38 degrees or so. Eric Holland is preparing for an unpredictable trip to a place where help is being welcomed from all over the world. It's not Colleyville. Right, and it's not South Lake or anything. It's it's a country next to a war zone. But his reason why he uh, booked the flight isn't wavering. I'm just plugging away on my own. You know, I have a calling to go and help these individuals. Holland's bag is packed for a solo trip to Poland. Once he lands in Warsaw, Holland will take a train to Medica, a town right on the Ukraine-Poland border that's turned into a chaotic rush of refugees crossing to safety. Their long lines of Ukrainians wait to move west. Holding their hand, putting a blanket around them, giving them food, talking to them. More than three and a half million Ukrainians have left their country trying to escape the Russian invasion. Images Holland says he couldn't stop thinking about. And I kept saying somebody should do something, somebody should do something, and finally you look at it and you say, why am I not somebody? So Holland presented the idea to his wife and 12-year-old son and called the Polish consulate in Houston for guidance. Then his two-week trip was set. And his only concern, trying to get back. There may be the potential that the ticket that I have is, is just a piece of paper. It doesn't really do anything anymore, right? And I just become one of many that are trying to catch a train and get out of there. So there is the potential that my, my stay gets extended. In addition to volunteer work, Holland's family and friends and even complete strangers also donated cash and envelopes. He plans to hand the money straight to nonprofits in Poland, a gesture he's excited to do in person. This is something that, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting emotional, I apologize. Um, this is something that I can do. This is something I can do to stem the tide as best I can, right? To push back and to help people that are that are lost right now. In Colleyville, Peyton Yeager, Fox 4 News.